Okay, a new trend now. Now, if you've got uh, what are these the the Gen Zers or yeah, Gen Zers, that's like the ones you know, late teens and twenties or Gen Zers. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Apparently, when they get nervous, they begin speaking in a British accent. Yes, because they're trying to sound a bit more intelligent when in reality they're trying yeah. to cover up their anxiety. Yeah. So apparently, uh, a woman who works in tech said that she recently wanted to let her boss know that she is feeling burnt out. So without thinking, she said in a British accent, it's affecting me mental health, in it? Okay, you just went like Scottish Irish there. That was not even well, British. Yeah. Oh my god. And, and then of course the boss who's older is like what? Yeah, what just what? happened here? Why are, yeah. are you joking? Are you like this putting on a, a thing? Yeah. Is apparently because of British reality shows like Love Island, I guess, um, which Gen Zers like to watch on TV. Um but not just mimicking people, I guess. Um, experts say there's a psychological reason behind it. It can be a way of softening what you're saying or separating your true personality from a situation. So in other words, it makes, a defense mechanism. Yeah, it makes sense. Because think about it. Yeah. If you hear something with an accent, whether it's a bit of a Southern drawl uh, or something British or Australian from the land down under, yeah. you know, it, it sounds a little you know, more amusing, more interesting. So suddenly yeah. it's like, okay, I'm making whatever I'm about to say. Not as bad because you're like, wow, that right. sounded really cool. But wait, did you just say you're giving me two weeks notice? So if you're if you're finding someone talking to you in a weird a- accent, anxious. it's because they're kind of nervous about it and they're yes. Gen z More info about this right now at the YesFM Facebook, Twitter at 967YesFM, and the Mercy Morning page at YesFM.com.